G'day guys, Big Rob coming at you on the land slope. 2004 Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad, 1500cc is a pure armchair bliss. Now today we've got another little project coming in and yes this one is another little sewing one much like my little uh, pants clip thing. Now I like many people out there that ride motorbikes, I generally wear a, uh, a vest. Why? Well because I wanna. So if you're clicking on this video thinking that uh, yes I, I joined a motorbike club or something like that and I finally got my cut, no, no that's not the case, definitely not the case. Uh, as much respect as I've got for all the people in the clubs who, uh, who wear them, I ride by myself because I'm very time poor and uh, I commit to nothing. Except for my darling bride because something about the marriage and the vows and the things and the stuff like that. But anyway, I digress. Uh, if anyone's seen any of my really earlier videos, I used to wear a uh, denim, denim vest with a whole bunch of patches all over from like heavy metal bands and things like that. And I loved that vest, it was great. But I've had it for ages and uh, I mean the good thing is I lost a bunch of weight which means I'm not going to die of a heart attack in the next 12 months, at least I don't think, I fucking hope not. Uh, but the downside of that means that vest no longer fits, it used to flap in the wind and all that sort of shit. So that vest unfortunately had to go. Um, yeah, I, I, I got another vest there that it was, look I thought I'd try the leather vest thing, you know be a leather daddy or some shit. but. Um, the leather vest thing, I didn't, it didn't fit me. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't look good. I didn't like it. I didn't like the cut of it. Um, it didn't have enough pockets. It just, it was not suitable to my needs. So, um, in this little one, we're going to make another little vest. And when I say we, I mean again, I'm going to have a lot of help from my darling bride here because it's sewing and stuff. And your big boy Rob does not do good with sewing. I get very frustrated because I don't know how to do it properly and I have very little patience. More shit on the road, fuck. So yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. Um, and hopefully, yeah. All right, go. Woo. All right. Uh, I'm here with my darling bride, uh, Onyx. Uh, say hello, I guess. Hi. Oh, hi. Mm. Uh, so I've got a denim jacket that uh, we are going to uh, turn into a vest and put all my heavy metal and punk band patches on. So basically, uh, I think we're just going to hack the sleeves off and sew a bunch of shit on it. So. What could go wrong? Leaves are cut off and it's kind of frayed up a bit, which is what we wanted. We wanted to look a little bit um, basically like shit because that's uh, me, you know, it's a landslug. Uh, so, yeah, just put it on over the leather jacket to make sure it does fit because it was a bit of a gamble with buying this one. And um, it's a bit snug, but snug is good, it means it doesn't flap around in the wind, and that was a problem with the last one. So, uh, we are probably going to do a little bit more distressing on it. Uh, which means I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and I know I can just wear it and it'll start to get like that eventually but fuck it I'm already an old man how old do you want me to get before it looks good so we're gonna hit it with some sandpaper and maybe we might take it to the next level with that all right I've got an idea let's do it okay we've had an idea uh, normally to try and get a little bit of fraying up around the bits and pieces there uh, you hit it with a little bit of sandpaper um, <sighs> Don't fuck my beard up. <laughs> and 
And this is the fun part, isn't it? It's always fun. Sure. Curating the battle vest. So basically you're just trying to find where I'm going to put all of the bits and pieces. So Then we get to pin it all together and um, sew it all up. And by sew it all up, I mean someone uses a sewing machine that I don't know how to use. Okay, you can do the hand stitching. Shit. Well, the best is finally done, and when I say finally done, I've got a spot for a few more patches to go on, but I'm going to be honest, my darling bride did most of the sewing on this because one, I don't know what I'm doing, two, I'm not patient, <laughs> I don't have the patience to sew patches on, how bad is that? I've, I managed to get one patch on, I got halfway through another patch and I cracked the shits tore it off because I was doing a terrible job I kept stabbing myself in the fingers so I am glad how the, the vest turned out it looks good it fits which is a bonus um, I can't really say this is one of my little lockdown projects because let's face it my wife did all the work she is absolutely amazing apart from the fact that she puts up with me just in general um, yeah it's but, but hey look I'm happy with it so I'm gonna move on to the next project uh, which I just got delivered today. I'm gonna to upgrade the headlight of the motorbike. And when I say upgrade the headlight, I mean I've, I've got a new glow for it, got an LED glow. This road, oh, well, this corner here always has so much shit on it. All from that area. So, yeah, this is a fun little project. Um, not a whole lot of riding in this video, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. My name's Big Rob. I make motorcycle related content. Um, which I guess, yeah, this is related to it. Uh, yeah. If you did like the video, like, subscribe. I'm going to put a link to my wife's Instagram for her burlesque performer page. Um, she was really the one that made this best thing happen. So, you know, go over her page and show her some love. Alrighty. I'm going to enjoy this little bit of the ride and, um, yeah, big rod out. Woo!